You guys know that I love looking at high-end decor and figuring out a way that I can recreate that for so much less in my home. So I found in this magazine this really pretty old terracotta looking bowl. I've been on the lookout for a similar bowl. So I found one at the thrift store. I grabbed it right away. I honestly didn't even need to do anything to it because it looked perfect. But I'm gonna show you how I styled it with items that I grabbed from Dollar Tree. Whenever you're filling a bowl like this, you wanna use something that's like an inexpensive filler so you don't have to buy a bunch of items. So I grabbed a ton of Walmart sacks, Dollar Tree sacks, and I put those all to the bottom. Next, I used some Dollar Tree Spanish moss to fill the top. I think I used about two containers of this. And then on top of it, I just added some Dollar Tree pumpkins, but you could also add in the acorns I showed you earlier, or honestly, just leave it the way it is. It's super versatile. I love the way this turned out. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of it. So a few months back, I created a paint pour vase and I was reading the comments, you guys loved it. I read all your comments, so make sure you leave me a comment. And so when I was coming up with fall projects, I thought, you know, what if we recreated that on another Dollar Tree item? So when I was shopping at Dollar Tree, I came across this huge tray. This is probably the biggest tray that I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed it. I think it's in like the new school supplies, like dorm essentials. So look for that section whenever you look for it but I grabbed this gray tray and I decided to do a paint pour on it so in order to do a paint pour what you're gonna do is just grab a collection of paints I'm using those same paints that we've been using throughout the whole video and you're gonna start by pouring white into your first cup then you're just going to add in additional paints it, there's really no rhyme or reason to it but you just want to switch off sporadically so you get a variety of paints now I decided since this was a big tray and I kind of had a small cup that I was going to do two cups worth of this. Then you want to put some kind of container that you can start pouring on. So I just grabbed this bowl that I had in my stash, it's from Dollar Tree, and I put it in the center of the tray. Now here is the fun part. I started to pour the paint on there, and then as I'm doing it, I kind of squiggle my hands and I swirl them around. This is just gonna add a little bit more texture to your paint pour and a little bit more interest. Once you have all your paint on there, you can remove that center item that you used, a cup or whatever. Make sure you have something underneath where, that can take all of this paint because there's gonna be a lot of excess paint. Then you're simply going to pick up your tray, move it around until you get that desired look that you're wanting and you cover every inch of the tray. So I kind of had to move it around, cover the handles. You wanna get all of the excess paint off of there. You don't want too much paint on there. Once it's, you know, looking the way you want it to look, set it and let it dry overnight. You know, it's probably not gonna dry within a day, so just let it dry overnight. Now, since this was a tray that I was going to be using, I wanted to seal it. So I came in with my water-based sealer, did one coat on it. And here's a look at how the tray turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.